Well, hi again. Hi. We're back. And we wanted to follow up from what we began sharing last week in terms of the work we do is around supporting people to be free of food habits. And how does that happen? So last week, we talked about getting clear on our GPS. So we all have this inner feedback, inner GPS, inner intelligence and wisdom that knows what's really good for us to eat and how to deal with things in the world. And so we were talking about well, when we get clear on what our GPS is, it lets us know whether we're um, really in a busy mind and, and probably not in the state of mind to make a good food choice or whether we're in our clarity and that we are in a good state of mind to make a good food choice. And my GPS is I'll get fast thinking, and tense, really tense and intense feeling. That alerts me to know, oh, I can't make great decisions right now. I just need to settle and let my mind quiet down. Mm -hmm. So for you, a feeling of tension is the signal from your GPS that says, we're not going in the right direction. We're not going in the right direction. <laughs> exactly. Turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great. And then also my GPS, my feeling level, my thinking level can point to what is ideal in my life. So when I want to make a really good decision, I get quiet. And as I quiet, my mood gets really good, really happy, joyful, simple. And I know when I'm in that place, that's a place of making really good decisions and having a deeper thought around whatever it is I'm wanting to know or move forward with. So you're saying that when you're feeling open and calm, that's the signal from your GPS that this is trustworthy thinking. Yes. That this is something we can get some traction with and, and go forward. That's the right direction to get yeah. us where we want to go. Yeah. Good. So we want to be able to distinguish both qualities because they're both important and valuable life assets to know when not to make decisions and when we can make great decisions in our lives or with food. Because like Bill says, the body is always willing to inform us of good decisions when we're in that quiet or settled space. Yeah, so you were working with someone just this week who's kind of starting to make that distinction, mm -hmm. yeah? So one of our clients, I loved hearing her story. She would in the past, especially late in the afternoon, want to eat, 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 as she says, whether she's hungry or not. And so she recognized that there was push in that um, tension in her body and in her thinking. So she sat for a moment, got quiet, and asked, I know I'm not hungry. Is this something that I should do right now is eat? And she was really surprised to see, nope, you're, the hunger is not real. There isn't any reason for you to eat food now. And so she made a new choice. And that's the possibility we all have when we let the mind settle very quickly. It only takes a, a few minutes or even less than a minute and ask the question, is this ideal for me right now, this food choice I'm about to make? Yeah, it's amazing how quickly um, we can turn the car around when we read the signal properly. I remember a, a, a experience I had years ago. I was on a program and in residence program and there was some tension between me and another person. I walked into the dining hall and 
there she was, kind of behind a post, but I saw her there and all my thinking got going. And I just wanted to leave the dining hall, come back and eat later, whatever. And then that person stepped out from behind the post and it wasn't who I thought it was. <laughs> you know, the power of our thinking yeah. to generate this, 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 these feelings. And when I was in that tense place, I was telling myself something about you know, this other person, what's going to happen, making stuff up. And that was the signal from my GPS, not saying anything about that other person. It was telling me I'm believing something that isn't really true about who I am. And the life of the world. That's beautiful. Yeah. So that's another element of our secrets about what we do with people who want to have better health and be free. That's the main thing of old thinking and old reaching for things when they know that really isn't a solution. And as soon as we see that distinction, we can turn on a dime. It's true. It's not like it's going to take me half an hour to get over this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the recipe for today mm -hmm. It's, I just explained to Bill, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Almost every bite I had. If you can get a curry squash, that's an orange turban squash. That's wonderful. If not, a turban green squash with an orange spot on the side, that's kabocha. If not, delicata, which is the long kind of yellow striped yeah yellow striped squash yeah. any one of those works well and so the recipe is one of those squash cooked seeded of course and then stuffed with the greens mm -hmm. and we did string beans with the greens that was so good and then a garlic tahini sauce on top and all of that will send you in this blog and it will be available on our website for a long time <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for joining us and uh, next week we'll go a little more deeply yes bye for now <laughs>